Now, this is happening at our school, and I can tell you, you are the first trialers of this program that we're going to be doing in the country. No one has, has done this program before. So we're really excited. So Mr. Peters, who's the man behind the camera there, he is going to be introducing us to a program called Digital Citizenship. And we're going to learn what it is to be involved in digital citizenship. Now, can someone put their hand up and, uh, and suggest what that might be? Can anyone think what digital citizenship might be about? Now, you can't be wrong. You can say anything you like. Thank you. iPads. Okay. There to, we would be using iPads, definitely. Anyone else? Well, can I tell you? I asked students at the start um, earlier this morning, and I videoed them on the, on the video machine. I asked them that very question. We had some really interesting uh, answers. Um, I think digital citizenship is helping people online or on um, something digital. Um, oh, oh, I don't know what to say. I think digital c citizenship is cyber safety. I think digital citizen is basically with technology today, so we basically get used to it for the future. And most of those answers had to do with the internet, which is correct, uh, to do with computers, which is also correct. But there's a whole host of other things that this is going to be about. Digital citizenship is a topic everybody needs to learn about. This program involves three courses, one for students, one for parents and one for teachers that last seven weeks and is focused on the technology policy of the school. We need to work together on this. Have you um, done the Everything in Learning Module 6? Yeah. Yep. All of it, that's fantastic. And now you're uh, doing these discussions here, so uh, Digital Footprint, how it can affect your future, what we talked about. And uh, the question, what can I do to make my digital profile the best ever, which we just discussed a little bit about the negativity of things. But you can also actively out there say, okay, I've got an online presence. How can I put things on that online presence that make it even better, that really presents me, who I am, what I, what I represent in this world, how I think about things. The program consists of seven learning modules with a variety of on and off line digital citizenship activities. These modules can be done over one week or spread over a term. Parents and teachers in their own specifically designed online courses are in sync with what the students are learning and discussions are encouraged via guided forums with the aim that at the end of the course participants not only have learned about digital citizenship from the course itself, but also from each other. Well, we took a screenshot of the textbook and put it onto Adobe Ideas and then we annotated all the information. Classroom discussions are also very much part of the program. All these questions about how she was. So do you think it was a legitimate 12 year old she was talking to? No. no. Welcome to anywhere. <laughs> and so are the excellent resources produced by Common Sense Media. I'm done W, I do W. In this community based e learning program, students feel their voice is being heard. So, what did you enjoy most? Uh, the fact that it was on the iPad, like that we could interact on our iPads and the videos, that were pretty good. Yeah, the videos were like when you watch the video before you have to do the task, it was pretty good. I enjoyed the games and all the um, different programs on there, and especially the forums, they were quite easy to use and fun. What did you guys learn um, through the program? Um, I learned that. Uh, everything you do on social media, it stays there. There's, even if you delete it, it still stays there. Um, something that I learned was like, you gotta be like safe online and make sure like what you do is like right and stuff. As a student, do you feel on the forums you have the ability to express and, and, and have an exchange with parents and, and teachers? Well, yeah, when I'm on the forum, it's like, it's very easy to express with, like, teachers and parents and stuff, because it's just, like, such an, like, 
easy going like experience on there I guess. It's not hard to express what you're thinking or what um, what even your parents or the um, teachers are thinking, they can express that to you as well. So it's a really good like communication forum, I guess. And why should parents and teachers listen to you? Um, because I guess it's like really important to know what's going on with your students and or like, you know, uh, child. Because nah, that's like one of the most important things, I guess, because if they're like not okay or there's something wrong going on, the parents need to know so they can like deal with it, like appropriately, or even the teachers. Now, first of all, how much did you know about digital citizenship before this program? A little bit I knew. Um, last year the students did quite a bit in terms of online safety, so I do know a bit, and also I have a daughter that's in Year 7, so i sort of been trying to make myself a bit more aware of that as well. So I knew a bit, not as much as I do now, but yeah, I could. And um, uh, what did you find interesting about this particular program that, that you as um, a teacher? Well that it was interactive which I think was really good so and I liked the, the the DVDs and that they sparked all of that conversation and so and the things that it brought up I think was really really good yeah I like that part of it. Just absolutely delightful to see the young people engaged in in partaking in the whole project and one of the things I've taken some great pleasure in is every day taking the opportunity to speak with the students and asking them about what have they gained from it, do they like it, do they think it's worthwhile, is it something that's worth um, showing other students and putting this in, in other schools and unanimously all of them have just said well yeah it's really good, it's something that um, We've gained a lot from it, so and it will be something that's really worthwhile to incorporate in other schools.